The Koyamada International Foundation Keith, the World Karate Federation, WKF, and the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, are bringing together diverse communities of women from Los Angeles area to launch an initiative targeting gender-based violence. The program is named Garden Girls Global Karate Project. I would like to thank the Consulate General of Japan in Los Angeles and the new Consul General, Ken Kosoni. Uh, it is my great pleasure to welcome you all to my official residence uh, for this karate reception night. I would like to acknowledge the karate pioneers. Some of them are uh, here tonight. It's truly inspiring to see karate fighters from all over the world gain a better understanding of Japanese tradition, culture, and spirit. This is really nice to see um, Guardian Girls happening finally. Um, it, this is something that the United Nations Population Fund and Kramer International Foundation started in 2019. And we talked about what do you think about doing a gender-based violence prevention program using karate? Mentally, physically, spiritually, it brings a lot to a person. So this partnership is really around empowering women and girls through sports, leaving no one behind. What we have experimented in the work together with Mia and Shin in these years was really what can we do in practice to fight against this pandemic? How can we send a message to the world? Let's do Guardian Girls Karate. This uh, project of the Guardian Girls uh, Global Karate Project is one of the most ambitious uh, initiatives of the recent uh, history in the World Karate Federation. For us, it's a very, very uh, important thing, and we will dedicate all our interest in the World Karate Federation to make it even bigger than it is. But uh, we are very satisfied and proud and uh, hopeful for the future of this project together with all of you. We are very honored to start Guardian Girls Karate in Los Angeles. So tomorrow we will have uh, Guardian Girls Karate Women's Self-Defense Seminar uh, with about 60 to 70 uh, women, uh, age, ages from 18 to 76. I started karate at the age of seven, and when I was at that age, I was very quiet, very shy. What I can say is that karate gave me purpose, confidence, strength, power, and this is something that I carry till today. And being a part of this program meant a lot to me because I was able to help girls have confidence in themselves. If they're attacked, they have confidence to fight back. Fire! So the importance of Guardian Girls is really to empower women across the world uh, through karate. And so that's something I do really well. And what I was able to share today with people was the art of karate do. Guardian Girls is, is really an amazing uh, opportunity. It's so important for so many women around the world. Just listening to Maria Rosa speak about, uh, you know, the stats around gender-based violence in the world, around the world, I, I was floored. I couldn't believe it. So this is something that I would really love to be able to spread worldwide, to be able to empower women, to give back that power. Um, and self-respect for themselves and be able to protect themselves. The Secretary General of the United Nations, Antonio Guterres, in 2020 said, gender-based violence is a pandemic in the pandemic. It's something pervasive in all societies, in all the countries where we work. We see different degrees, we see different types, 
but it's there. So we talk about approximately one every three women who experience gender-based violence in many forms in the world. We're talking about an overall number of 736 million women who have been subjected to intimate gender-based violence, um, non-partner sexual violence, or both, at least once in their life. And there's a striking number that always strikes me for its, its dramatic light. And it is uh, that one woman every 11 minutes is killed by a partner. There's a holistic impact of gender-based violence on girls and women. It's an impact, of course, on, on physical health. It's an impact on mental health. It's a life ruined forever. It's generations lost. We're losing generations. And this is how we feel that sports, and particularly karate, can empower girls and women. This partnership will be groundbreaking because having the passion of the Koyamada Foundation, having the outreach of the World Karate Federation, and of course the programs that UNFPA has, will allow us to really make an impact. And we already have a roadmap of programs that will be part of the partnership.